Hello everybody, the Warrior Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we continued on with helping, like, with the prison camp, the numbers, like, the, the, guy, the people with no names, I forgot their, their group name, but basically have to help the, this one guy stuck in a pharaoh, and, and we have to kill some enemies and gather some stuff for, for, for them, so, uh... Yeah, now we just have to only fight a couple more. We actually we just have to fight two more of these. Hopefully we should be though. No, I don't wanna get it get in with that. Hopefully we should be able to try to get this guy to fight us. Come on. I'm closer. Is this like a rare thing? No, I don't want to fight you. Go. Goodbye. Come on! You wanna fight that thing? Too easy! Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge okay, off on your own. Where? Come on now! At least I can finally fight this one now. Yo, no, I only need to find one more. So, uh, when's the battle happening? I think we can fight that other guy there. Come on. A little bit closer. Fight you! Come on now! There we go. You know these things things were basically like in the air, so that's why it was kind of tricky to actually get them to fight us. Yo, now we have fought them all, I believe, so, yeah, we have to head back here. Okay. Better let everyone know you're safe and sound. Number 15. I'm listening. Just going through your comment da data. All dummy reactor operations are normal. Output coefficients converging within normal parameters. No abnormalities found. Let me just double check. Number 15, we had. Yes, yes, fine. I'm coming down. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. There you go. I'm out. As ordered. Happy now? 
Happiness confirmed, number 15. The sight of you looking so healthy is a relief. <clears throat> Something weighing on you? Nothing, I just never knew you could do so. be so concerned for others. That is... Well, whatever. It's nothing to do with me. I can. I could re need rest now. Wake me up when the neighbor rations are prepared. Excuse me. Number seven. Permission to, s to sign in. Sign in re resignation. Okay, so it's just. I was wondering why you're actually so. Why you're actually so busy with the inside the Ferran. Ferran. I want to explain in a way normally would understand. I'm scanning for irregularities in the dummy reactors of all, of all Ferrans. The dummy reactors serve as a replacement power source for the Ferrans in place of the flame clock. <laughs> and their creator, the one and only number 15. Then you're the one we have to thank for the Ferrans being operational? Well, I won't lie, I just slapped these together pretty quickly. R running them is kind of risky. Without Ferrans, we won't be able to engage in combat. That's why I had to adjust them quickly and guarantee that the power supply was adequate. If they fail during the battle, we'd be dead for sure. But, we, but you have been working constantly in s to support us. But this does not occur. You have my gratitude, number 15. It's not like that. I just don't want people to die because of my reactors. Real convincing, mate. If you don't need me for anything else, I'm kind of po pooped from pulling an all nighter, so... Of course, rest well with number 15. And this quest is done! they're doing okay so I think there still is another thing another one here but I want to go back you know not this way you can talk to number 10 dear oh dear the move hasn't made number nine any less feisty eh haha <laughs> That's something to laugh about? One of the tried and true secrets of my success is that I laugh when I'm worried, so I don't worry about worry those around me. But judging by your reaction, that, that didn't really work out this time. But like my friends say, you take, you take the good with the bad, right? Anything over here? Number three. Hey, I need to tell you something. You'll never guess, but number 15 started eating with everybody. Well, how about that? I guess it really was worth paying out, take, prying him out of his pheron. To be fair, he only eats up with us at night, but he's never eat, even done that before. This is just fanta fantastic. We have to keep this whole number 15 interaction thing going. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Can we level up again? I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? No. Ugh. Let's be off. Okay, hang on one second. So maybe if we change time. I think there's a quest if we find number six. Okay, so I think we are done here for now. So I want to go over to... Uh, the Fornus region and... The Colony 30. I'm gonna see if we can start the next part of uh, Rapapa's quest. Eh, no, not yet. I guess for now we can just try to look around to see if there's any more people to talk to. Anybody? No. Ugh. One really? Ugh. I 
guess not. So now we can go over to... Now there's a few people to talk to. Wow. Now let's start with Kukucha. Everyone looking looking deep in doldrums, please fill up on cuisine of Kukucha and carry on boldly, boldly fighting. Yeah, I won't stand in the way of that. You gotta fill an empty tum somehow. Now, Laszlo? It's gonna take a whole lot more than a, an apology to make amends for what Jeremy did. It's going to get a suitable punishment for this. I don't think he's got, got a leg to stand on in a colony for either. Even so, I still believe him. And if I didn't, he'd be on his own right now, that's for sure. Mercuto would have done the same, I think. That's what friends do, right? Oh, so that's how they're doing. Wanna talk to Flaren? Hey, Leslie told me about Jeremy. I can't forgive him for, burn, for, for hurting Yord like that. To be honest, I feel like I needed to give him a good punch to settle him. But when I think about how isolated and driven into a corner he was, I realize that it would have been much better if we'd have talked with him and, got, and thrashed it out with, within the tactician squad. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Let's talk to Yord. Since, since the incident, a lot of people in the colony are starting to condemn Jeremy, Jeremy for what he did. It's understandable, but it ultimately won't solve anything to drive him to the edge like that. It's all one big mess at the moment, but it is, isn't it? But everyone, especially given Jer Jeremy's motives. Yeah, I mean, I just want to find a peaceful resolution to it all. As a member of, of the Tactician Squad. Oh, so that's how they're doing. But Flavorin's pretty tough, alright? She holds, she holds firm to her fighting spirit, even in the face of Orton, and it's so vastly bigger than Ferranus, too. And all I can do is support her so that she can doesn't wipe herself out. That's what I've always done. That's what I'll always do. Oh, so that's how here. Operation for Honest Reboot is steadily progressing. The grand, the grand reveal is nigh. Speaking of, Denzel Washington has been a lot more cooperative than I thought he'd be. Thanks to him, it's been going shockingly well. Looks like he finally recognized what an absolute genius, genius I am. Ha ha ha! Sounds like Denzel Washington is going through it, huh? Too. Let's talk to Jeremy. Um, what, you think we got something to talk about? I got nothing. Right, very well. The time to talk is over. Just get out there and make an end of it. All this fighting is taking away so much from us already. We got Denzel Washington here. Denzel, not Denzel, I mean Denzel. Spark me, you mean really looked hard at the agony and love it this time, huh? He got stuck in there and nailed it, all the physical physics and whatnot. Just with self-study, he did even get get it was a big deal. He's a real force to be reckoned with. I could even see him being next in line if he wasn't so sparking aerial about everything. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay, anybody else? Oh, there's someone. It's so on. The flame clock was smashed. Our whole world changed, and in a big way. It sounds strange to say. The fact that we all got to win this, this revolution was a great honor, I think. And by the way of returning the honor, I and everyone here at Colony 4 will offer up all our strength in the battle that you face. We could be more reassured, naturally. We'll do our best to live up to everyone's expectations. Uh, nobody else? Everybody. Anybody up here then? Let me talk to Maxi. Oliaris is actually doing pretty well as acting commander, better than I thought he would anyway. In fact, I don't see why he can just drop the acting part and just accept the title commander, but he won't, won't have it. Yeah, right, well, that's Boliaris for you. He's way more single-minded and stubborn than he looks. 
I don't know if it's humility or a hard head, but if Ethel can see him now, I think she'd get a good laugh out of it. Oh, so that's how they do it. Here. Anybody up here? Talk to Boliaris. The big one's right in front of us now. This might end up being my fi final duty as acting commander. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm trying to get myself killed or anything. Ethel would never forgive me if I if I bought it out there. Hey, don't worry about it, mate. You're the kind of, of stubborn modern who actually makes it through to the end. You said it, bud. Hey, that was a compliment, right? Nobody else at all. Yeah, I think we're fine. So, so we're good. So let's head over to. Colony, Colony Town. Okay, anyone new we can talk to here? Oh, well, there's something here. Got Carson. That, wa that water down uh, at the spring of Ronar it really does make you feel like a new person. You have got to try it. Strength giving wa water. Graziana. That smell, I'm guessing serious anemone? Oh yes, I have a personal stash of it. I like to keep some on hand to make herbal tea with. All right. Oh wow, I don't don't take your did take your for a tea guy. Well then, I've got a tip for you. So listen up. Try making tea from from mallow o, o the marsh. It's a fungus quite pungent, but great for your health. It builds up strength, apparently. And then, just a thank you. I'll make you make sure to sure, sure make, to make a note of it. Herbal tea. Anything else? So I guess let's discuss these these two things. I've been craving some downtime. Hey, so herbal tea, and the other one so is a quest. Can we talk? Hey, Tyon, I've heard you make herb herbal tea sometimes. Is that true? Hmm? You put in the brew on Tyan or sweet. I'll have a cup of serious anemone, thanks. I know you would be able to appreciate the subtle flavors. Why, why don't I make you a mallow or of the marsh? You can drink that instead. Mallow of the wait, isn't that a mushroom? You drink it. You drink it to get stronger. Appreciate it, will you? Oh, you should have said. All right, then I'll have tea, ten cups of your finest fungus without water. Cheers. And we have strength giving water. Let's have a little huddle up. So there's supposed to be the spring, whose water makes you stronger. Oh, yeah, I heard about that too. Just from drinking it? Well, that's a dream. Man, yeah, I'd love a bit of that. Not fun to have a story that eating red pollen orb makes you stronger. Probably the same kind of story. I'd love to find that spring. It's a load of bullocks. If something that, like that really exists, why, is it, why haven't other colonies heard of it? I've got to say, I have no knowledge of this either. Then why don't we investigate it? I mean, if we look into it and find that it really is water that makes you stronger, that's win-win, right? True, but this wouldn't be the first spurious legend to grace this colony. If this is a malicious custom that started, started in Colony Town, we should debunk it now. As you wish, the spring of Ronar, Ronar is, this, is this plate. The water of Ronar. Where to from here? Okay, so we have to go over to. Where? Oh wait, we have to... 
Oh yeah, we have to actually put her in our party. And we have to head over here. I assume it's right down here. It's Nutka. What are you doing here? They're looking for the spring. What about you, Nutka? I was thinking of putting all that knowledge I got from the colony Iota about water and rocks to use. I think perhaps that drinking this water isn't suddenly going to turn you into a better soldier. Mate, that's, this stuff is so good. So good. It's just water. How can it be? Oh, it does taste nice. You can make a sublime cup of tea with this. It really is top quality water, but I don't think there's anything particularly special in it. So it's just a normal spring? Seems that way, and I don't think it'll give you any powers. What? Tell that to these bulging biceps. Both of you are already plenty strong enough. It's all in your head. Should we try one more spring? If, if other fountains are, are as good as this, then it would spare us the trek. Is, is there a spring spring closer to town? There is. This area is just a bit too monster infested for comfort. At worst, we might be surrounded. The other spring is a lot more peaceful. It would be far preferable for us to, as a water source. I see your point. Okay, let's take a look. Follow me. Thanks. We've never been here before. Spring and run up to follow Nutka now. Is that what I think it is? Right? And all the way down here. Considering the distance, maybe it's for the best that Tao don't have to go all that far. That's true. If anyone gets hurt in the process, it'll be defeating the purpose. No, I don't want to fight you. Wait, wait here while I look around. Well, it's, all, it's composition. Composition is practically identical to the other spring. Interesting. It's definitely better to draw uh, water heat from here. We've had a, a lot of casualties getting our, wa our, our water from that spring. This is far and better, in a way the better choice. They're they've been, they've been, they're both pretty much the same. Then how come that other one's got a legend about be beefing you up and this one doesn't? No idea, it's just something that people have said. That's how customs work. It doesn't matter how ludicrous they are, people refuse to let go of them. Glory has always had an awful time trekking up there to fetch water. If you, if you can lie in the hair low, I, I, can't, I count that a win. She's always working hard enough trying to treat all our injured. Graziana too. She, she and Glory are responsible for the water supplies. Graziana is very careful. Thankfully, she hasn't had any unpleasant monster encounters yet. The water's so good from that this spring, too. She, sh she should be pleased. Do you mind if we leave you to spread the good news? No problem. Let me just fill her up first. Th thanks for coming out here. No bother at all. We're just happy if we can stop stop more people from getting hurt. Right, it's little things that make like these that make life easier for everyone. Hang in there. And this quest is done. And we got info on the return. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Let's head back to Connie. My stomach's growling. We can, we can talk to Nutka again here. 
I'm, I'm indebted to the Colony IO sur Survey Branch, you know. They showed me just how vital it is to, to do your research. In times of uncertainty, Data is queen. I'd better go look, get, get looking into more than just the water quality. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Let's discuss the return. Hey, so... Can we talk? Looks like the people who went back from colony t from Tau to, to the other other colonies have come back. There were colonies we liberated, and we did notify them they'd be coming. So it's not like I was overly worried. But still, it's a, no small feat to get there back and back alone. I don't think I could have made it. Yeah, me neither. Not on my own anyway. And yet, as a learning experience, experience, I'm sure it was invaluable. I agree with you. Before this, this place was slowly headed for the scrap heap. No one would have been any other wiser. They grabbed this opportunity and ran, ran with it. Good on them. Certainly, we could say we could stand to emulate their example. Everyone got their strength back. So I want to go to heroes and go back to. Yes, unit number seven, reporting for duty. So I think we are good here. Actually, let's talk to Carson here. Wait, so the water from the spring of Ronar wasn't even special? It seems not. You're joking. So what was the point of us lugging ourselves all the way over there after time after time? Friends have been injured on that trip. All because we thought that water gave us strength. Well, now you won't have to because you can get water that's just as good practically on, the, on your door, door So I believe we are done. Let's go over to... Okay, so... Go to Colony Lambda to see, Lambda to see if there's anything. I do want to see if we can level up. I actually know that's not what I'm I I'm getting peckish. Wanted. Do we have any snacks? Everyone got their strength back. Anybody we can talk to at all? I do want to see if we can level up again. I've been craving some downtime. You can. Oh, but Sagiri can't, though. So. Oh well. Definitely feel stronger. Ah. Let's move up. So now let's go Over to Colony Moon. Okay, so anybody new we can talk to? There is someone. But I think I'm going to save that for the next part. So yeah, yeah, guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day guys and peace out.